Hello my good friends, in this video we will be covering the Use Reducer Hook. The Use Reducer Hook is a great hook to manage state inside of your React application. And it's a little bit different than the typical Use State Hook in that it is more concise and restrictive with how you can change your state. And it actually follows a lot of the same paradigm as in Redux. And it actually has a lot of these same terminologies. For example, in Use Reducer, we have actions, we have action creators, we have action types, action payloads, we have dispatch, we have reducers. And these are the exact same terminologies that are in Redux. Now you do not need to learn Redux to take this crash course. I'm going to cover everything in great, great detail. And actually, if you learn use reducer, it might be easier to learn Redux, which is actually a little bit harder. Now, what I want to note, however, is that I don't want to just get right into the terms. I don't want to say hey, this is an action, this is an action payload, and just code it out. In my Redux crash course, what I did is I went through an illustration, and then I related that illustration to what an action is, what dispatch is, what a reducer is. So I'm actually going to take the same approach uh, with this crash course. So let's go about doing that right now. So this is the illustration. If you watch my Redux crash course, it might be a little bit similar, or it's exactly the same. The diagrams might be, or the pictures might be a little bit different. But this is an illustration that I have to explain how data flows in use reducer or Redux, really the same thing. So over here, I have this king. Okay, so this is the king. And the king is, I guess, subscribed to this bank over here. And right now, let's just let's just draw the amount in his bank account. Let's say he has 500 coins. And back in medieval times, that's like Jeff Bezos money. So let's say over here, he has 500 coins inside of the bank. And what he wants to do now is he wants to deposit money into this bank. He wants to deposit two coins. And so what he's going to do, I mean, he's, he's a very busy man. He's a king. He's not going to go to the bank. He's, he doesn't have time for that. He's just going to get one of his servants to do that. And so you can see here we have two servants and each servant is in charge of a specific task. So this, this servant will deposit money. This servant will withdraw money. And you can't ask the servant to, uh, that withdraws money to deposit money because, well, the servant doesn't really have any idea how to do that. You might give him instructions to deposit uh, 500 bucks and he might just go ahead and withdraw 500 bucks. So there's very specific uh, uh, servants that do very specific tasks. And so, okay, he wants to deposit five coins. And so what he does is he tells this servant, which is in, start, in charge of depositing, hey, I want to deposit five coins. And so what this servant does is, okay, King, no worries. Now the distance between him and the bank is, is very, very far. So what he's going to do just to speed things up is he's going to get this note. He's going to get this letter and inside of the letter, he's going to say, he's going to say, okay, I want to deposit. And he's going to put it all in caps just to, to, really say, hey, we want to deposit. And then over here, we're going to specify how much we want to deposit. So over here, we have this letter that says we want to deposit. And over here, we have this, uh, uh, the amount, the amount that we want to deposit. And so what he's going to do is give this to this pigeon, he's going to give that to the pigeon. And then the pigeon is going to give it to the bank. So the pigeon is going to give it to the bank. Now the bank is going to interpret this letter. So it's going to interpret it and it's going to say, okay, well, he wants to deposit five coins. Not a problem. I'm going to change the account. So I'm going to change the account to uh, uh, 505. And that right there is how data flows in Redux. This is very, very, very similar. Let's just go through this one more time, but with withdrawing. So Right now, he wants to withdraw three coins. So he would tell this servant that's in charge of withdrawing. Okay, I want to withdraw three coins. This servant then goes ahead and creates this piece of paper called withdraw. He's going to say withdraw and then three. He's going to give it to the pigeon. And then the pigeon is going to give it to the bank. And then the bank is going to interpret it and then withdraw, withdraw, uh, withdraw uh, three coins. 
And again, this is extremely similar to the way that data flows with using their user reducer hook or even Redux. So let's actually go over here and uh, let's just explain some of the terminology. So over here, let's just change this back to 500. This is uh, the current state of our uh, application. So this right here is 500. This is the current state. And, uh, you know, many components might want to view this for now. The king wants to view it, but this is the current state. Now, when we want to change the state, we have to call a function. And this function, well, it's going to be a very specific function that is going to perform a very specific action. So if you want to add money into this, well, you are going to uh, uh, call a function called uh, deposit. Or if you want to withdraw money into it, well, you want to call a function called withdraw. And so, and so, that function is basically these servants. And what these functions are eventually going to do is create this piece of paper that is called an action. So really the functions are called action creators. These functions are called action creators and they create this piece of paper, this piece of paper that is called an action. And this makes sense because, hey, we want to perform an action on our state. So we want to perform this action on our state. So when the king wants to add money, again, let's just kind of go through this flow right now. The king wants to add money. We are going to call an action creator. And this action creator is maybe this one right here, deposit. Now it's not really gonna be a person in code, it's gonna be a function. And then this function is going to create this action, this piece of paper, that's an action, what we ultimately want to do. Now within that action, we're gonna have, well, you can see here, we have exactly what action we want to perform. And then over here, the amount. And so within this action, this is known as the action type, what type of action we want to perform. And over here, this is the action payload. This right here is an amount. So this might be optional. We don't really have to add this, but we absolutely do need to add an action type. Now, what we want to do is that we want to then send this action to the bank. Well, how do we do that? Well, with this pigeon, this pigeon is going to dispatch this action to the bank. And let's just go ahead and dispatch it. So it's going to dispatch the action. It's going to dispatch the action, but now, once the action is at the bank, the bank has to interpret the action to adjust the state. And the bank in this case is known as the reducer. This is the thing that, okay, can read whatever the action is, interpret the action type, interpret the action, uh, uh, interpret the action payload, and then adjust the state accordingly. And that right there is how data flows in use reducer hook. So let's actually recreate this example, but in code. So right now you can see here that I have my application up and running, my app.js. So this is just a simple React app. I have it up and running on localhost 3001. You can have it running on localhost 3000, not a problem. I have this empty uh, app.js. And over here, I created this components directory. And in here, I have a bunch of uh, files and folders that pertain to other hooks that I taught in other videos. Don't worry about that. What I want you to do is just create this components directory. And in here, I want you to create a, a component, component with use reducer. So a component with use reducer. A very, very simple component. Now let's just go ahead and create a function based component. So let's just do import, or actually we're not gonna import anything for now. Let's just say function, or you know what, let's just export default. And we're gonna say function. We're gonna call this component with use reducer, whatever. And then over here, let's just return some JSX. Let's just return an empty div. And for now, just to test that everything works, let's just render hello. And over here, what we can do is we can just go inside of the app and actually render component with use reducer. So you can see here that everything should be fine. And I auto imported it, of course. And now if we go to our React app, we should see hello. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, terrific. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to uh, create this this bank account. So let's let's go about doing that with the use reducer hook. 
So to get to the use reducer hook, we're gonna have to first import it. So we're gonna import use reducer, and then we're gonna import it from React. So we're gonna import that from React. And the absolute first thing that we have to do is define this right over here. The, the, the state of our application and also the dispatch, which is the pigeon. This is going to eventually dispatch our actions. So that's what we have to define. So to do that, we can do const, and then this is gonna be relatively similar to the use uh, state hook. We're gonna have our array, and this is equal to use reducer. So we're gonna be equal to use reducer. Now it is going to be slightly different. In here, we're gonna have to create, or in here, we're gonna have to pass in our reducer. Remember, the reducer is the bank, the bank that is in charge of interpreting the action and then uh, adjusting the state accordingly. So that's the first thing we have to do is pass in the reducer. We didn't create that yet. We'll create it a little bit later. And then we also have to pass in the initial state. So let's make that 500 as we have over here. Now, as you can see, now it's yelling at us saying that the reducer is not defined. So let's just quickly define a reducer, a reducer, and so here we have our reducer. So it's just a simple function. And now uh, we shouldn't get that error. Okay, cool. Now what we can do is we can get access to our state inside of this array, kind of similar to the use state hook. We can just say amount. And then we can also say dispatch. So the second field is that pigeon, that dispatch pigeon, if you will. That's going to dispatch the action to the reducer. So we have the amount, which is the state itself, which is 500 uh, initially. And then over here we have dispatch, which is the thing that actually dispatches the, uh, the, um, the action. And then over here we have both well, the use reducer. So now what we can really do is just say amount. So we can say amount right over here and save that. And if I were to go here, you can see we get 500. All right, cool. So now let's create our action creator. So let's create our action creator. And the first action creator is going to be in charge of depositing money. So we're gonna, remember our action creator is gonna be a function that will create an action, create and dispatch an action. Remember, so let me quickly illustrate this. Remember, the, the uh, action creator, what it does is it creates this action, this piece of paper, and it dispatches it. So it tells the pigeon to go ahead and uh, uh, send it to the reducer. So now what we can do is we can say, okay, we can pass in the amount. So whatever amount that we want our to tell our uh, action creator to, to deposit. Well, what we can see is, okay, here's the amount. And we want you to set this amount as the payload. Remember over here, the action has a payload. So what this is ultimately going to do, and you can have a lot of logic in here, but just to simplify the things, I'm just gonna say dispatch. So we're gonna dispatch. So we're gonna call that dispatch function. And then in here, we're gonna have our, uh, we're gonna have our um, action type and our action payload. Now in uh, well JavaScript, we're going to define that as an object. And we're gonna say the type, and the type is going to be deposit. And then the payload is going to be the amount that we pass in. Now, of course, we can have some validation here, maybe checking if if amount is a number or if amount is defined, whatever. You can, of course, add that in there, but I'm not because I just want to make this a quick and short video for you guys. I'm sure you guys understand the concept and you can manipulate it accordingly. So what it's going to do is it's going to dispatch this amount to the reducer. So to the bank, if you will. Now, right now the reducer is doing nothing. So what we need to do is we need to tell the reducer a set of instructions to interpret this action and then perform whatever is needed to that state. Now in the reducer, we typically do that with a switch statement. So we can say switch and we want to switch on the action dot type. So that is what we want to switch on. Now the reducer is going to take in the state and the action. And when we dispatch something, this over here, this right here, 
is going to be the second parameter. So this right here is gonna be the second parameter. Now over here, the, the state is going to be this right here, the 500 that we initially defined. Okay, cool. So we're going to switch on the action.type, which is the, either deposit or withdraw. And over here, we're gonna say case. In case the action.type is deposit, then what we want to do is we want to change the state. So we're gonna say return, and we're gonna say return, and we're gonna say state, which initially is 500, and then plus the action.payload. So the action dot payload that we defined over here, which is uh, uh, 500. And so now what we can do is, let's actually put this in an H1 over here. Let me just save that so we can auto format it. And let's create a button. So you can think of the button as like the, the, uh, the king asking to deposit money. And what this can do, this button can call the action creator. So it can call this action creator, which is deposit. So deposit, and I'm just gonna hard code 500. What you can do is you can create an input and you can get that value from the input. I'm just gonna hard code it because you guys kind of get the point. And now if I were to go to here, if I were to deposit 500, you can see that it is depositing. Cool. And now let's go ahead and let us, uh, withdraw so we want to withdraw so let's create a withdraw button oops we want to change the text to withdraw now at this point we're going to have to create another uh, uh let's actually put this in the bottom so we have deposit withdraw and what we're going to have to do is create another uh, um, action creator which is i guess a servant if you will so now over here we can say instead of deposit we can say withdraw withdraw and what this will do will dispatch a action where we have withdraw and then the amount is the amount that we pass in now over here what we can do is okay in case this is withdraw then remember this is the bank then what we want to do is we want the state minus the action dot payload and of course, with uh, a, uh, a switch statements, we should probably have a default. So in case the case doesn't match any of the other cases that we've specified here, and the default, we're just going to return the state. So we're going to return state. All right, and that, that's pretty much it. Uh, inside of this, what we're going to have to do is just change this to withdraw, save that. And now we can deposit, 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 withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. That is the use reducer hook.